Here we are, cruising along on the ocean. Stranded. Hello and welcome to another beautiful South Pacific morning. This is Keith Kay, and I've got a couple episodes here for you on getting food. Today we're going to cover foraging. Um, we're also going to have a few more episodes on fishing, on hunting, and cooking. Um, there's been a few updates to tools as well uh, related to hunting, such as the fishing spear and the refined spear, so we'll get a chance to look at some of those as well. But to start off with, this episode will cover foraging. All right, so when you first start off, you're not going to have any tools or farms or smokers, and so I've gone off to an island that I haven't been to before to demonstrate foraging. And when you're foraging, there are really three types of food you're looking for. The first and most ubiquitous is the coconut. So there's a coconut right there, and you can see, you can see there's another one over there. So you just look for your palm tree, and if you approach it, you'll actually just start climbing. And then you just go up until you can interact with the coconut. And as you can see, it says hold, eat, interact. So you just hold it down, and now you've got yourself a nice coconut. Um, the other way to get to coconuts is to chop the tree down, and then they'll just fall off. Uh, I'm not going to do that on this one because I may come back and hopefully the coconuts will respawn. Now, see here's an, an example. Sometimes you don't have to go all the way up and sometimes you go all the way up and you can't quite reach it. So you do want to approach it from the side it's on. So that does happen occasionally. Alright, there we go. Oh, there's two here. So we're going to run up this side. Climb, really. And then as soon as you get close enough, you can just grab them. Now, there are two main things you get from the coconut. This really is about foraging, so it's about food. But you get water also. So if you see, we'll drop our coconuts. You can't drink the coconut or eat it like in this form. So go ahead and drop your coconuts. Grab a crude axe or a refined axe. Uh, and you will need to watch them because they will roll away. So first start chopping it until the husk, the outer husk, comes off. There, it just takes a couple of chops. Now one more hit will turn it from a coconut into a now drinkable coconut. And I definitely need some water, so I'll go ahead and pick that up. And then you can drink it. And now what you've got is a empty drinkable coconut. Since this is about foraging, not drinking, once you've drink, drank the water, what you need to do is then split it. Okay? You get two coconut halves. Now these will spoil, so um, if you're not in need of food at the moment, go ahead and leave them in a different form. Uh, I can only eat one. So eat one. And you'll see that, now I guess I'm going to need to eat two to get up to full, yeah, full on the food meter. So if you're not hungry or thirsty, just leave them in whatever, you know, leave them either in this form or in the empty drinkable coconut form. Because otherwise, like I said, they will spoil over time. Now the other two things that you want to look for are the kiwawa plant or the kiwawa tree. They're kind of small trees. They look a little bit like the ficus but they're tiny and they have these kiwawa fruits on them. So you can see there's another one over here and they will give you one water and one food. Uh, and I'm not in need of a food just yet. So that's the kiwawa. Um, and then you'll notice this other one. It kind of looks to me like an orange tree, a little little orange tree. That's the, the kura fruit. All right. And if you don't need them, leave them on the tree because, again, they will spoil. All right, and we're back at my base. 
And one of the things I wanted to show you was once you get established, um, you know, you won't be foraging quite so much, but as you travel around uh, the various islands, you will collect a fair amount of coconuts. And, um, you know, I like to keep my surplus here in these storage bins. So um, these are good, right? These have water and food. Once you drink them, um, as I showed you earlier, they turn into these empty drinkable coconuts and these will stay, these, these won't um, spoil, at least not at the moment in the game. So you can stockpile these if you don't need them uh, for survival. And um, I really like these storage bins too. This, this works out really well. I saw this on a couple of other channels and uh, I've really been digging it. Um, instead of having stuff scattered all over the place or just piled in, in bunches like, uh, like this driftwood is. Um, but there you have it for foraging. Uh, if you want to see more, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment if there's something else uh, that uh, you want to see. And stay tuned for more of my um, food and cooking tutorials.